Hey guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping in and hitting that play button. Before we jump into the video, um, make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell so your notifications are turned on so you are alerted every time I upload a new video. Um, also check out my website for my earrings. I actually still have a few of these. I don't think I've worn these on my channel yet, um, but I do still have a few pair of these as well as for as well as a bunch of other styles for you guys to choose from, as well as my soaps and my consultations and my ebook. They're all up on my shop now, so you guys can check that out. The links for everything will be down in the description box. But I'm not gonna make this intro very long, but this video I am going to be doing the second installment of the series that I'm doing using the Juvia's Place new mini palettes. I already did the berries video, so if you guys haven't seen that, you can look in the cards. It'll be in there for you guys to check that out. This video I'm going to be focusing on the nudes palettes. Um, same setup, six shadows. I only didn't use one of the shadows in this palette, um, but this is the look that I created using the shades from the palette. I actually like it. I didn't think I was going to like this palette like that, but for a simple look like this, you know, I guess it can work, but I hope you guys enjoy if you guys want to see how I got this look It's super simple guys like it's really really simple. The products that I used are simple I tried to keep this pretty much as nude as possible um, And I wanted to use as many colors from the palette as well So you guys can see how they apply and it actually applied really really well better than I originally thought so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So I'm hopping right into the video and today you guys heard I'm featuring the nudes palette This was actually the one I was least excited about but I actually ended up really liking it I'm gonna go in with that um, very kind of muted out brown and apply that to my transition And then I went in with the lighter shade and apply that to my brow bone highlight Now I'm gonna go in with some concealer. This is the NYX HD concealer I forgot what shade it is, but I'm just using that to Apply a little bit more uh, concealer on my lid just so I can have a nice base for these lighter shades. Now I'm going in with that middle shade on the bottom row and applying that all over my lid. I actually love this color. This would be so good for just like everyday vibes. And then I'm gonna go in with that first shade. This shade applies best with your finger. Um, it can apply probably even better if you apply like some glitter glue or something on top, but I didn't do that. But I just used my finger and it just gave it a really, really nice kind of glisten. Um, like I said, if you want a lot more of it, I would definitely recommend using like a glitter glue. Now I'm going in with my Iris Beauty Liner and I'm just going to um, apply a liner on top. I'm not going to wing it out. I'm just going to do it really, really close to the lash line. But I wanted to keep this look pretty nude all together. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. I love this primer in the winter. It's super bomb. So if you guys have really dry skin in the winter, definitely check it out. Next, I'm going to go in with my lashes. I believe these are my Angel Lashes by Last Craze that I doubled. Like I said, I don't think this brand is around anymore, but I am going to be using these lashes just to get my practice on. Next, I'm going to go in with the Black Opal Color Corrector in orange. I love this color corrected. I didn't like it in the beginning, but I actually really, really like it. I like both the Salmon and this one. So grab one of those. It's actually really, really nice. I didn't, I, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I do. Next, I'm just going to apply my Avon mascara just to blend my real lashes in with my faux lashes. 
I am going to highlight and contour under my foundation. So again, I'm going in with my MYX HD concealer. I will have the shades and all the products that I use listed down below because I don't remember them right now. And I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender and work my way up to my lower lash line, which is kind of how I've been liking applying my concealer these days. So I actually really like how it turns out. It just looks super natural and I find that I crease less underneath my eyes when I do it this way. Now I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl um, True Matte Made Foundation in the shade D50. I love this foundation. It is probably one of two foundations that are like my exact match or one of three shades actually I have a few foundations that are my exact match but this one is just so nice and especially for a drugstore foundation just so bomb and it just gives you really really good coverage and I'm just gonna blend this out all the brushes that I'm using are from Royal and Lanico, part of some of their Moda collections. I will have a link as well as a coupon code down below for you guys to check them out if you want to see them. They have like really pretty, pretty brush brushes. Next, I'm going to go in with the Black Opal Finishing Powder in Medium, and I'm going to set my under eye concealer and also apply it on my forehead, my chin, and my nose. Even though I didn't use a highlighter there, I still like to use a lighter powder towards the middle of my face just to give it kind of like a natural highlight. And I'm just going to brush that away right away. I don't like it to bake. I don't really like baking anymore. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX HD Concealer in Espresso, which is like the perfect contour shade. And I'm just going to apply that and blend it out with my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to go in with my CK1 liner that I'm just hanging on for dear life, but I know I need to just throw it out. I'm just hanging on because it's a very bomb, bomb eyeliner. I wish they still made it. And then I'm going to go in with a brown that I used in my transition color and kind of smudge it at the bottom. I'm going to set the rest of my face with the CoverGirl setting powder. Um, just, just so pretty. The complexion is just amazing. Now I'm going to go in with that lighter gold shade in that top row and apply that to my inner tear duct just to give my eyes a little bit of pop. Now I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance um, Contour Palette and use that darker shade to contour or set my contour and just really define that contour as well. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Tau. I think this is the Volume 2 and I'm just going to use that as a blush and then I'm going with that lighter shade from the Black Radiance Contour Palette just to contour the upper part of my nose. I really like this trick. Next, I'm going to go in with my liner from NYX. This is Espresso. I'm just going to line my lips and I'm just going to top it with a nice clear lip tint from Found. I featured these in one of my skincare videos and I'm just going to apply this um, to my lips just to give myself a little bit of gloss. I actually like to keep, I wanted to keep this look really, really nude as the palettes say. And that is it for the look, guys. I'm going to set my face. And yeah, that's it for the look, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. It's super pretty and just, just looks so classic. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.